What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are grinding out videos today. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. Now, this last year was an amazing year for the Hayride. They revamped their whole um, theming of the of the Hayride itself and gave it a whole new uh, look to it. And I want to I want to just talk a little bit about what we would like to see next or what potentially might be coming next for the Hayride. A Hayride, if you guys know, is a very kind of secretive thing up until usually like Midsummer Scream or before a little bit before that when they start announcing stuff. So we don't know what is going to be announced. We don't know what's going to be uh, at the event, if they're going to redo the same thing but change some stuff. I don't know. Um, what I would love to see, though, for this, uh, this storyline that we have of Midnight Falls and stuff is an expansion and a continue going forward to this. Um, if you guys didn't go to Hayride last year... Um, the story of it was they were in Midnight Falls stuck on Halloween night and on midnight the curse there was someone put a curse on it and it would just repeat again Halloween night every single day um, so what I wanna know is going forward to a new year 2020 uh, what is next for the Haunted Hayride um, I would love to see a continuation of that story a maybe the curse was lifted or something and a new curse gets put on or maybe we go to another town there was mention of another town in the haunted hayride and i don't remember the t name on the top of my head but i remember a lot of the characters would talk to us about this other town um i would love to see maybe that town maybe do they have the curse as well uh, maybe see some interesting characters from that town as well um and what's next for maze wise too if, if the hayride if they're going to go to another town are we going to get new mazes that tie into that town of course with the haunted hayride in 2019 we had midnight falls then we had the trick-or-treat maze we had the um the midnight mortuary and then we had roadkill ranch on top of the hayride so all those kind of tied into the um the theming and the the storyline of midnight falls at the haunted hayride so what's next for los angeles haunted hayride um, the, which is the big question. Of course, the biggest thing around that is, of course, the Hayride itself. Um, we want to know what the theming of that will be. So if if they do happen to go to that other town that was mentioned in the storyline of the uh, of Midnight Falls and stuff, are we going to get a look at what they're dealing with as far as this? Is the curse going to follow them into that town? Um, and, of course, you know, the Midnight Mortuary, I mean, that was obviously the source of what was going on. They were doing a lot of satanic uh, cult stuff into that um, that mortuary. So um, it was very interesting to go through that and kind of unravel the mystery behind what's going on with Midnight Falls. As you walk through the mortuary, you see more and more uncover. As you go deeper into the mortuary, it gets worse and worse as far as um, the more satanic stuff starts popping up. So... It was very interesting to go through that and, and cover the story. And then, of course, with Trick or Treat, you see everyone kind of stuck within the Halloween theming and time of it. So that was really cool to go see and stuff. But, um, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, with Roadkill Ranch, I mean, uh, Reggie was always telling us that they – I guess they were supposed to be a slaughterhouse, but I guess they were supposed to – I guess they got, like, really bad ratings by the, the public health uh, services. So that was interesting to uh, go through that as well. Uh, Monty Revolta, of course, the um, the singer and performer at Midnight Falls for the Harvest Fest was freaking hilarious. So I would love to see a return of Monty Revolta. He is fucking funny. Um, and the Midnight, and of course the Hayride. Uh, again, like I said, are we gonna get a theming around? If they do decide to do the other town, will we get a theming around that town? Um, I don't know. It's really hard to predict with the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride, but I wanted to keep wanted to make this video to kind of keep you guys in the loop of if we get any news from the Hayride. Uh, we will let you know as soon as we can um, because, again, I really enjoyed that event last year. It was one of my favorites last year, especially with all the interactivity there was. Um, and hearing Reg or hearing AJ talk about how we um, you know, started a lot of things for them and to get Herschel to spell his name. And like we were like the first people to ask him about that. And like that was just really cool to hear, and, um, and I can't wait to do that again next year. So thank you guys, everyone, for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, hit that bell notification to be aware every time we put up a new video. We're going to try to be putting up a new video every day this week. And, of course, follow us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror and on Twitter at Knights of Horror. And we will see you guys in the next video.